happen against Detroit as the Bears look to feast on the Lions once again. And it comes your way next. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. Today, our coverage kicks off with a good one here between the Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. On first and ten, here's Fields. Flushed out right, and he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Here's Fields. And oh, right away, he lost the football. But the Bears look to get this one back, and indeed they did. So they'll keep possession. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it, able to retain possession. That was big for them. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. A huge play there for Chicago. Now a first down throw, Fields. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Seven yards to pick up there. Throwing again on second down. Fields got a man and he hits him in stride. Touchdown, Bears! David Montgomery, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Bears take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Santos with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. With it on the return now, here's Westbrook. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Minshew. Got a man, that's Richie James. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A big play there on the catch and run. And boy, see, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The numbers last week for Mitchell. North of 100 yards, the two scores. And, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to the O-line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good, too. They're obviously in sync with each other, whether it's zone blocking, power running game, no matter what. He understands how to read them and find the creases that they provide. They'll run on first down. It's Mitchell, able to power through. Shreds him with a stiff arm. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Elijah Mitchell with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. 
And they, almost to a man, told us how excited they are to be playing in this traditional Thanksgiving game. But we have to remember, this is a team that lost on Sunday. Now they get a very quick turnaround to play again. How difficult is that to do? It's difficult under any normal circumstance when you're coming off of a loss and you have a quick turnaround. The first thing is to put the loss behind you and move forward. But when you plan on Thanksgiving Day, everyone's watching you. It's an added bonus, though, because now you put the loss behind you. Get that taste out of your mouth because the taste you want is victory, turkey, and pumpkin pie. Throwing on third down, Fields. This will be caught, Tyrell Williams. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Deep D.D. Westbrook. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. On first down. It's Mitchell. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. As they've got it second and seven. Oh, fighting off the defender. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Now Minshew. Man open, and St. Brown has got it. And he's going to have the Lions first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Checks this one down, it's Mitchell. Shedding the tackle, and it gives him some room. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 47. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. 56 yards rushing for him now to this point. And just a yard to go here on second down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with a band -aid. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's at the lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Minshew's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Mitchell is into the end zone. Touchdown, Lions. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. It certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be in the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. And this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they come into this one off the loss over the weekend. But you say if you're going to play a Thursday night game, this is the week to do it. It certainly is because you get right back out there. You don't have time to dwell on things. And look, your game plan is going to be a little more limited, but so is theirs. So that's when you just appeal to your top players, guys. You make plays in this one, we out-execute them, we can walk away with a win. Meanwhile, field throw going into the hands of Williams. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. On second down, Montgomery. 
And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. You know, thinking of this Thanksgiving Day game, Charles, for years we've heard the talk, why don't we open up these Thanksgiving Day games instead of just being Detroit and Dallas every year, give other teams a shot to host? I know you're kind of like me, a bit of a traditionalist, but what do you have to say to that, C.D.? I think it's a great argument, and the league could support it quite well, where you could move games to different spots and still be very successful on Thanksgiving Day, but... You're exactly right. I am a traditionalist. I really don't want Detroit and Dallas to give up those slots. I like the fact that we watched it. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. One play action. Fields. Going for the deep ball. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Now after the punt on that play, we've got a man down on the field. While the trainers take a look, they'll step aside. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. They'll go play action here with Minshew. Throw left side complete. That's James. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Minshew sets to throw. James has got it. Complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. It'll be Minshew again. That's to Mitchell out of the backfield. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. touchdowns on drives one and two and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start again he'll drop to throw that one almost intercepted but it's incomplete not a good throw there and it'll be second down they come up here with another shot from the six yard line and it's second and goal now now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now, what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. How about the defensive stand here from first and goal, three straight incompletion. Yeah, I think people are wondering why didn't they try and run it at least once in there. But once the first incompletion happened, it's almost like they were committed to throwing the ball from that on. Well, on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and the Bears will get the football back. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. With it on the return now, here's Westbrook. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They'll run on first down. It's Mitchell. 77 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. And this will wind up a Lions first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. 
Room here to run. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And quickly, they get to the line. On first down, it's Mitchell. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. And he winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. And he is going to have a Lions first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. And he'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up. And he takes this one in for the Lions touchdown. Boom Mason with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Lions take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now 21-7. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Graham, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Steps away to his left. And he will slide to a halt with a penalty marker down on the play. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Following the penalty, Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Now Fields. This one swung out to Montgomery. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. A give to Montgomery out of the gun. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Second down and eight. A play fake. Now fields to throw. That's complete to Mooney. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first. And it'll bring up third down now. Back now at Ford Field. We're on to the fourth here on Thanksgiving Day. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. David Montgomery, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. 
Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They'll run on first down. It's Mitchell. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. 135 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Second down and three. They'll keep it on the ground. Mitchell. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. The Lions on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And this will wind up a Lions first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Now a second down and six. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Fighting through it. He's got space. Still shedding tackles. Touchdown, Detroit. Elijah Mitchell, his third touchdown of the game, number nine on the season. And the Lions add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And a lead now up to 14. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful. And that strength was on display there. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to... And I think the ball's out. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Offensively, they're just not playing a very clean football game right now. This deficit, there's a fumble. Good news for them, at least, that went out of bounds. You're exactly right. And as they breathe a sigh of relief, you know they're looking at the scoreboard, thinking to themselves, if we turn it over there, things could really get rough for us trying to make a comeback in this game. The Bears on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the veteran Richard Sherman. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front. Say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Richie James. His first touchdown on the year. And the Lions are closing in on win number 10 as they extend this fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead down to three touchdowns at 21. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. 
So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. From the 22, Fields being chased out left. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him, and what I mean by that is what you said. Third and long, got to push it downfield to try to pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Right back to Mitchell on second down. Well, he gets it, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Elijah Mitchell scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Lions use the short field of their advantage as they cash in for six. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, I think that the folks here would hope that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10 to throw his fields. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team... They've really been put through the ringer in this one. Fields throw there, complete to Mooney. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. From the 50, here's Fields. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Montgomery. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Now the Bears are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. On first down, it's Fields. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now it's Fields going for it all. And that is caught, but the back judge right there to say incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and 10. Again, Fields. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. And the Lions are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think, okay, he's a guy in all the commercials now. Right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win.